Hi children, this is Venkat Ramna. And today's class, ninth class, physical science. Okay, we are discussing regarding motion chapter, second chapter, motion chapter. In that motion chapter, we already completed when an object is said to be rest, when an object is said to be motion, and when an object is uh, uh, covered certain distance, and when an object covered displacement, and uh, what is the speed, what is the uh, velocity, and what is the uh, uniform speed, when an object is said to be uniform uh, velocity, when, uh, when an object is said to be accelerated, and when an object is decelerated or retarded, when an object is in uniform acceleration. So, and also we discuss regarding uniform motion and non-uniform motion. When an object is what do you call, uh, moving with uniform motion and when an object is moving with uh, non-uniform motion. That also is discussing. And also we, we took, we got, we, 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 uh, we derived the relation between the terms uh, starting velocity, final velocity, acceleration acquired by the body and uh, time taken by the body and displacement covered by a body in terms of equation which we called as equations of motion equations of motion. So, and also you know, we discussed first of all equations of motion, first of all we discussed equations of motion which is on earth, which is on earth, when a body is moving on earth, when a body is moving on earth with uniform acceleration, we discussed the equations of motion of that body, equations of motion of that object. Now we are discussed, now we are discussed regarding Equations of motion of a body under gravity. That also we completed. Equations of motion of a body which is under gravity. That means whenever a body is thrown upwards, whenever a body is freely falling, what are the equations of that object? That also we completed. Now we have discussed maximum height reached by a thrown upwards body or maximum height reached by a projected upwards body. What is the meaning of projected upwards? Simply thrown upwards. So, we have to get relation. Now, equation of equation or formula equation of equation of maximum height maximum height reached by a projected upwards body maximum height reached by maximum height reached by a thrown upwards body, maximum height reached by a thrown upwards body, thrown upwards body, thrown upwards object or projected upwards object, thrown upwards object or mm, thrown upwards object or what you called a projected upwards object, maximum height reached by a uh, thrown upwards body or what we call projected upwards body. Now, for this purpose, which equations we have to consider? Let us consider equations of motion of a body. Equations of motion of a body moving what we call on earth with uniform acceleration. In that, uh, let us substitute the conditions uh, whenever a body thrown upwards. Now, what are the conditions we have whenever a body thrown upwards? Whenever a body thrown upwards, then suppose this is the object thrown upwards. Then initially it should have certain, initially it should have certain initial velocity. And uh, when it reaches to certain maximum height, when it reaches to certain maximum height, h max, its final velocity becomes zero. As it is moving against the gravity, then its velocity gradually decreases. When its velocity gradually decreases, then it is said to be in retardation. So, that means the object thrown upwards body uh, acquired retardation or deceleration due to the acceleration due to the great gravity, due to the earth's gravity. That's why we will call it as a acceleration due to gravity. So, A is minus G. Why A is minus G? Why A is minus G means, why because here the body is moving against the gravity the body is moving against the gravity 
as the body is moving against the gravity since it is moving against the gravity what you will tell so a is minus g acceleration due to gravity is minus g so these conditions let us substitute in the equations of motion of a body which is thrown upwards now so what are the equations first of all we have v is equals to u plus a t equations of motion of a body which is on earth next one h is equals to u t plus h uh, plus half a t square h is x is equals to u t plus half a t square third one you can tell that v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s in this way you are substitute what you are substitute the conditions you are substitute the conditions u is equal to u only a is equal to minus g v is equal to zero h is equal to h max so what you get now equations of motion of a body or maximum height reached by a thrown upwards body now these equations we had to consider or thrown upwards body equations we had to consider thrown upwards body equations we had to consider when you when you consider three equation thrown upwards body conditions what are the three thrown upwards body conditions we have we have thrown upwards body conditions as v is equals to u is equals to gt u is equals to gt and next h is equals to ut minus half at square h is equals to ut minus half gt square so what will get now first one v is equals to not v u is equals to gt second equation what will get h is equals to ut minus half gt square second equation h is equals to ut minus half gt square third equation what do you have u is equals to under root 2 gh what are all these one these are the equations of motion of a body thrown upwards these are equations of motion of a body thrown upwards now if we consider these equations from the first equation can you get h formula we won't get so what you will tell if this equation is not useful for us to derive h max formula the second one h is equals to ut minus half gt square h is there but uh, here we should know initial velocity time taken by a body and the earth's gravity initial velocity time taken by a body and what do you call earth's gravity so or uh, their initial velocity you know before throwing an object initial velocity we know before throwing an object but time taken by a body to reach maximum height time taken by a body to reach maximum height is unknown factor for us why before what do you call reaching maximum height how come you know what do you call how much time it will take that's why t is unknown that means with second equation is also not useful now what do you have third equation u is equal to under root 2 gh it is useful now it is derived from which equation actually v square minus u square is equals to 2 as yes. from this now consider consider from this equation we got so in this v is equal to much 0 0 square minus u square is equals to 2 into minus why you get minus acceleration due to gravity is minus into h max into h max we will tell h max now what will tell minus u square is equals to minus 2g h max 2g h max then minus minus cancel u square is equals to 2g h in that way we got here h max now what is h max formula height maximum height reached by a body h max is equals to h max is equals to what is h max formula h max what is h max formula here h max is equals to now bring this 2g to this side so you get u square by 2g u square by 2g so h max is equals to h max maximum height reached by a body maximum height reached by a body thrown upwards with initial velocity u is given by formula u square by 2g the 2 is constant g is constant so h max is directly proportional to u square 
h max is directly proportional to u square that means maximum height reached by a projected upwards body is always directly proportional to square of initial velocity square of initial velocity that means h max is equals to h max is directly proportional to u square h max is directly proportional to u square nothing but maximum height reached by a body is always directly proportional to square of the initial velocity in this way we can able to derive maximum height reached by a thrown upwards object so now done So, what is the maximum height reached by a thrown upwards body? Maximum height reached by a thrown upwards body formula is h max is equals to u square by 2g. That means it is directly proportional to what we call square of initial velocity. Square of initial velocity. Now, if a body is freely falling, if a body is freely falling, in that case, in that case. what is the final velocity of a body while touching the ground final velocity of a body while touching the ground so that we have to discuss so what you have discuss now final velocity of a body final velocity of a freely falling body while touching the ground final velocity of a freely falling body while touching the ground so in that case what are the equations we have to consider we have to consider the equations of a freely falling body we have to consider the equations of a freely falling body now what are the equations we have for a freely falling body means now let us see now what are the conditions we have for a freely falling body that conditions in substitute in the equations then we will get that the equation of a freely falling body the equation of a final final velocity of a freely falling body while touching the ground so equation of equation of a final velocity equation of a final velocity final velocity of a freely falling body freely falling object freely falling object while touching the ground while touching the ground while touching the ground or floor while touching the ground or floor in that case what you have to consider equation of a final velocity of a freely falling object while touching the ground in this case now consider what you have to consider consider three equations what are three equations now we know that we have v is equals to u plus at s is equals to ut plus half at square and v square minus u square is equals to 2a yes Now, which equations we have to consider? But these are these are these. 
Now this second equation we won't consider because we won't give formula for final velocity of a freely falling body. It is because v for v term is only not there, so it is not useful. Next uh, two, these two. But in these two terms, it depends upon time taken by a body. Before dropping an object, can we know how much time it will take while touching the ground? Before dropping an object, can we know? How much time it will take while touching the uh, to touch the ground? Don't know. So second equation also not useful. So which equation you are concerned now? V square minus U square is equals to 2AS. So let us see the conditions. While freely falling, initial velocity is zero, final velocity is V, acceleration is plus G. Why? It, since it is moving towards the earth. Since it is moving towards the earth and earth is going on pulling towards the earth only, so I will require acceleration. That acceleration is plus b. Then s is equal to how much h max? So that we are substitute. Now v square minus zero square is equals to two into plus g into h plus g into h. Then v square is equals to two g h. Very good. Now v square is equals to 2 into g into what is h? Just to what we call previous case only, we derived the equation for h. What is the h formula? U square by 2g. Why? We got since h is equals to u square by 2g. U square by 2g. So let us rub this equation. Now, so g g cancel. V square is equals to two mm, two two also cancel. Two two also cancel. Mm. So v square is equals to two g h while touching the ground. Then two g h h is equals to u square by two g. Now. So here, what do we have now? We want formula for v. V is equals to under root. Under root. So here, what do we get? Uh, v square is equals to 2g h. H is equals to u square by 2g. That is substituted in the place of h. What is substituted? U square by 2g. Then what happen? 2 to oh, 2 to will be cancelled. And what do what we are getting here? V square is equals to what do you say? Ah, uh, while touching ah, uh, V square is equals to we got only U square. That what is the U square formula? U square V square is equal directly we have na. No need to substitute the formula for this one. Now when you add substitute, we will we will get ah, uh, what do you say? Then V is equals to under root two G H. Under root two G H. What is V formula under root two G H? 2 is constant, g is constant, h. From how much maximum height? From how much maximum height we are dropping? We know that one. From how much maximum height we are dropping? We know. That's why what the v formula? V is equal to under root 2 g h. So final velocity of a freely falling body. Final velocity of a freely falling object. Freely falling object. While touching the ground, while touching the ground, while touching the ground, touching the ground is equals to how much? V is equals to under root two g h. Under root two is under root two g h. In that case, we got the formula for final velocity of a freely falling body. Please note down. So, in this session, what we discussed, we discussed regarding. Maximum height reached by a projected upwards body, and the final velocity of a freely falling body. 
what is the maximum height reached by a projected upwards body h max is equals to u square by 2g u square by 2g then final velocity of a freely falling body is equals to v is equals to under root 2g h so in this way we have what do called final velocity of a freely falling body and initial velocity of a maximum height reached by a projected upwards body in next session we can able to discuss how much time they will take to reach maximum height how much time they will take to reach ground and how much time the body can able to in a flight thank you